Well, here we are. The new season's almost upon us, January 24th. And as you can see, a lot of the plants on the top died. Um, we got a lot of babies still in there. Some are half adults, some are still babies. And they have the adults hanging out on the bottom. Um, the tank heater wasn't good enough for the winter, so some of them died off. But I'm going to get something to where the water is nice and warm throughout the winter. And it'll be relatively cheap. So let's feed them. The duckweed, by the way, died off completely, I thought. And then look, it's growing back already. So let's see if we can get some fish up to the top. Nope, see, they're freaked out. But let's add some food. See if that gets them up here. All right. Come on. The babies are eating it up. It's a good thing, I guess. There you go. Come on. But all these little. See, the adults are coming up now. They were so tiny before. Now they're all fat, big fat cows. Totally pregnant. There we go. See, they're all chubby guppies. So, anyway. So, I got everything taken out now. And I added some compost. And I haven't stirred the pot, basically, in here. Um, took out all my drip lines and stuff. And uh, now I'm just waiting to uh, get a tiller. So I can... Uh, buy some bags of fertilizer, probably major amounts of it, and mix it in. I don't, I don't produce enough uh, compost to really turn this into uh, regular soil quickly. So I'm going to go buy some bags of uh, of compost and uh, fertilizers and stuff. Uh, trying to stick with a the natural theme. What I am doing, however, <laughs> um, is I'm starting to set this area up as a uh, is our other garden area so we have it starting right here and it's gonna have a straight row basically all the way down and then where that where that bucket is right there I'm gonna have like a little walkway in between and then my little walkway that goes behind here and I might plant tomatoes and stuff all in here um, it does get enough Sun way back here too um, and then this area I'm taking out all the grass basically that's in there so I'm covering up with black plastic Hopefully that works, um, but we'll see. I'm taking out this palm tree, um, just this one. The other ones, they're they're kind of high enough, and not only that, if I trim up the leaves, they'll give enough sun for that area over there. Um, fruit tree, crazy dogs. So, retarded dogs uh, anyways the fruit tree is doing all right uh, there we have the composter we have the composter over there my neighbors <laughs> and then this area this area is actually doing really good I stirred it yesterday and I put a lot of compost in here and there was so many worms in here uh, chili peppers survive the winter for the most part we'll see what happens in the next uh, two months um, oh and that plastic over there is going to come off in the next month so we'll see what happens um, I pulled everything from here did really well on this side of the yard so I'm going to plant more this year uh, I'm probably not going to go with green peas because they weren't very good and they were hard to grow and I'm lazy so I'm probably going to do green beans, uh, which were excellent. Um, I put a little olive oil, salt, and pepper, and threw them on the grill, and they were so good. They were better than asparagus. Um, so I want to plant green beans probably all the way down, maybe some flowers and stuff to attract bees. Um, and that's pretty much it. I'll be updating a lot more. My smoker, of course. I plan on doing some barbecue in this summer. Um, so anyway, oh, and all that stuff on the sides of the tank, that's not a bad thing, it's just, looks bad, but it's algae, and algae's a plant, so 
what could be bad about a plant. So any comments, suggestions, questions, um, hit me up. Thanks and God bless and uh, this spring and summer is going to be awesome. So anyway, see ya.